five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to another interview. Today we got Almighty Day Day. What's good? What's good? Also known as LSDMN. Yes, sir. Uh, introduce yes, yourself sir. a little bit. Uh, I am from, I was born and raised in Pennsylvania, uh, Erie. Um, I moved up to Minnesota when I was about two years old. Um, stayed with my mom, uh, spent some time down south. So I do shoe customization, clothes customization, um, modeling, hair modeling, um, pretty much anything you need, mural work, you know. I work with uh, businesses and artists to branch out and uh, to be a better person, I guess, and help promote themselves and myself also. Dope. And uh, right behind you, we did, got the mural that you did for the Water Wave TV store. Um, I kind of wanted to start it off with that. Maybe your inspiration or what you kind of thought about doing when you seen the canvas and you're like, all right, I'm going to go with it. I'd say my um, inspiration behind the mural was that uh, the revolution is never televised. So we had started this mural before the store opened. And so it was a great inspiration to me because I got to see behind the scenes, see you guys put in the hard work that you guys did. And um, not only that, but then it, it gave me the motivation to like really put more work into understanding social media and how much that develops, um, I'd say, cultures and how much it really brings cultures together in different aspects. So, for example, like right here, um, this shows kind of like there's two sides. Either you're going to be the person that's making the content or you're going to be the person that is, uh, you know, taking the content and so for me at least like uh this little part of the picture was like you know anybody could be a content creator you can do whatever you want and um for me that was kind of an eye-opening experience coming out of high school not knowing what I wanted to do and then realizing that I wanted to be an artist and be able to express my work and let people see my work and let it touch them and uh so that was a, a little portion of that little part of the head um and breaking it down into understanding society and understanding like what we are taught and saying that like um you know no one can accomplish their dreams because in reality you you really can you just gotta put that hard work and dedication in and so um that was a little bit of the the side of uh you know seeing how much hard work I put in here uh you know I was in the store for what shoot about like I'd say like a good every day for a solid two weeks trying yeah, to for sure. get this together. But um, there wasn't really no concept. I, I'm kind of an artist that goes with the flow of the energy of the room and um, going with the flow of the energy of what the creation is going to come out. I don't rush it because I, I fell in love with the process of uh, the creation. And uh, so it kind of it kind of explains this little part. The uh, Grim Reaper is that, you know, time is always ticking. You never know when the next day is and you never know you know, when you're going to be taken off this earth. So it's always great to be able to feel blessed about living another day and being able to go on to another day. So that's what this little Grim Reaper is. And um, this little circle with, it's kind of like a circle with a, uh, I'd say like more of like kind of like energy inside of it. Kind of like a, a wizard's kind of like, a, how do I explain it? Kind of like a wizard's, staff. yeah, a wizard staff. Um, it's kind of like sorcery and just like putting energy into like one spot and being like, okay, what is this? And letting people's mind take out whatever they want to take out because everybody's going to see something from a different perspective. So it was just an ultimate goal is with my art to make, make sure that I can maximize people's perspectives on what they see and how they feel about a picture. But then also when they're looking at a picture, never let that mind get bored of what they're looking at. So um, that was the goal of this little section with like kind of the water f dripping down and then uh with the buildings behind me um i put up here more of like kind of like city vibes um and so because that kind of transpired my art and helped me be a better artist is coming to the city and uh seeing what minneapolis has to offer and with their artists and stuff like that and it's a very hard time it, i'd say it's kind of hard to be an artist in minneapolis at times because uh, a lot of the doors are closed and you got to know people to get to places. So I had to learn that like the hard way. But also, you know, as I develop as an artist, I realized that, you know, I let my work speak more than I do. So I don't really be on social media too much. I just kind of let my work speak, you know. But um, another thing that I put in here is like uh, the revolution isn't televised. They say I got to respect the system, but there's no respect in the system for me. And um, that was based off, you know, what happened with George Floyd and um, 
just going through that, um, understanding, you know, my place in the world and understanding what has been happening to my people. So um, I wanted to put that in there because there is no respect. And once we get that respect, I think everybody will have respect for each other. And I don't think that a lot of people can really gain that knowledge because we're so caught up in our own lives. Um, we don't really have time to come sit down and try to figure out what we can do to come to a common ground as a society and build. So um, I put that right there um, with the TVs because, you know, TVs influence many of people. You know, you can make a video and say some stuff and it can influence millions. So my ultimate goal is to always preach positivity and um, always understand that we all are equal no matter where you come from or where you're at in life. Like, no matter how much money you got in your pockets, if you're the riches of the riches or the poor of the poor, um, you know, you're human at the end of the day. So I just, I try to see it as that way and um, try to just grow from it. And um, I'd say with the, the moon and the sun, you know, those are my two favorite, two favorite things because at night I love nighttime and uh, with the sun, everybody loves sun, you feel me? So um, I just wanted to incorporate that into my works and uh, put smiles on people's faces. So I put smiles in the sun's faces and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, so what would you say is like your biggest challenge in becoming an artist and maybe the ins like in getting inspired and making art? Like what's like your biggest challenge? I'd say um, my biggest challenge was as an artist, realizing I was an artist, realizing, you know, um, I got a talent to do something. And it was hard for me to really, I would say, like chase it at, at first because everybody was breaking off into college and was like, oh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do this. But for me, I was like, I don't really know what the fuck I want to do. You know, there's not really many places out there you can go to schooling and you get, you know, art schooling for, you know, 45, 50,000. And I was like, you know what, I don't want to be in debt. Um, kind of taught myself art. I've been drawing since I was like six. So I was like, OK, well, what can I do? And I was like, all right, well, this is what, you know, luckily I've been able to have the talent of. Um, but the challenge was really under understanding, accepting that, like, this is what I want to do because it's not, I feel like when people as an artist, we, we think it's so easy, but then you don't realize it's a lifestyle. There's, it's a lifestyle. It's not like a, like a simple thing. Like you have to dedicate yourself, not only that, but then experiences that you go through in life, you also have to reincorporate that into your art so that um, it pops more and it's more expressive and people mess with it all. For example, like the Minnesota Maid shirt up there that I'm looking at, you know, it has the picture of the burning building. You know, that's an expression, that's a time zone, that was something that, you know, a lot of people felt. And so it's, as an artist, you have to incorporate yourself into your work and then also be able to understand that um, you have to promote a good message because people are going to receive this message and they're going to look at it and be like, okay, well, what does this mean? Or how do you explain it? So you also have to go through those steps. So for me as the artist, um, it was a challenge just trying to develop that and understand that and the power that you have as an artist or as the power that you have as a content creator and what content to put out. It was a challenge trying to figure out what real content I really wanted to get out there. So my goal was to put, you know, inspiring words such as free your mind, you know, um, keep going, drive yourself. And um, that's some, in, some of the words that are in there. So I put that in there. So that inspires other people when they see it to read it and be like, okay, you know what? If they're having a bad day and they see it and like open your mind, you know, inspire yourself or inspire anything. Um, I'd say like that was um, one of the, the key things I feel like I tap into when it comes to my artwork is that it promotes a positive action. Even if it looks kind of crazy and optimistic and mystalistic, I would say like that was probably one of the key things. And um, I'd say one of the, People that inspired me the most was Mr. Cartoon. He's from LA. I don't know if you've heard of him, but um, he really showed me how much you know his work really changed and cultivated the culture. He's based out of LA back in the '90s, and um, I watched his documentary, and he really inspired me to get into tattooing. Honestly, um, he was the artist that like I really looked up to and was like, "Damn, I really like." And um, so just the way he moves and the way that he handles himself as a person, I, I respect it. Like for me, it's like, uh, I don't base my respect off of money or what you've done. It's more of off of who you are as a person and how you lead yourself as a person. So um, 
I have a few people that inspire me, but mostly it's morally just me inspiring myself and letting my life actions that I go through in life to inspire myself into my next journey and to wherever I go. Um, you know, I met you about what I'd say probably like two years ago. Yeah, two to three years ago. Like it's been Through, a while. Yeah. So. Like how you mentioned earlier in the interview, like it's all about who you know and friends of a friends and mm -hmm. marketing. Like you came over because you knew Reese and Tez, and mm -hmm. like you had those T-shirts that you were yeah. tie dyeing or whatever. And then two years later, you you know you have artwork that'll be in our store forever. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, and that's like it's the greatest thing because you never know where somebody else's journey is gonna go. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for me, I always try to keep my relationship with people as like down to earth as I can and be as much genuine as I can because you never know yeah. that person might be your boss and you might never you never know so yeah, like for me at least like um with you guys like meeting you guys way before you know all of this became all of this it was it was honestly like a great time just experiencing hanging out with you guys you know coming over to the house and you know you guys came out you know skated with us and did the shirts with us and did that shoot and that was a fun time and so I feel like you know um as an artist, like for me at least, like right now that uh, I kind of just been striding to get into a different pursuit of art and that's uh, going into ta tattooing. But um, like you said, it, it is about who you know and how you know and it's about the relationships you keep with those people because, I mean, for me, like I said, um, I see, I don't know if you've ever listened to Logic Confused of Dangerous Mind, that song, I think you had. Yeah, yeah he breaks down like kind of like what it's like to be at the top and like being at the top with the energy that you get and um, He's worked very hard to get to that point and then uh you know he has all those problems because he's like man i got to the top now what do i do you know but for me i feel like i'm not going to have that problem because i i fell in love with something that i that i do something that i live every day for you know what i'm saying like um i try to explain this to everybody you know it's the dedication you put in and that's what's going to come out you know you you put all that hard work in over the summer and now you're here you feel me and so it's like for me, I let I let my my work ethic speak more than I do know like nowadays. I let myself and my work speak because it's like someone might not like what you're doing, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, there's other people out there that see what you're doing and are like, yeah, I fuck with that. Like I like what you're doing. Keep it up. So for me, I just kind of zone in on okay, what's my next creation? What do I want to do next? And so my ultimate goal is just uh, you know, inspire the youth. You know. If you're going through school right now and you're going through, you know, high school or middle school or elementary school, whatever school, and you're watching this, whatever you want to become in life, you go and chase that and become that. And don't let if anybody tells you you can't do it, don't listen to them. Don't don't believe in them. Just know that they just want to see you fail. But those people that want to see you fail are going to motivate you to go harder at what you do. So. I just say like my ultimate goal is to inspire the youth and let them know that this is an alternative route. If you want to be an artist, yeah, it's hard, but you know, after a while of doing it and being dedicated to it, you know, you will proceed and pursue what you're going to pursue and you will get there. But the sooner that you want to give up on that, you know, the sooner you give up on your dream, it doesn't turn into a reality. And for me, my dream was, you know, to be able to do art, to do able to paint a big mural like this and that was one of my dreams and now it's a reality so it's all about pursuing that and not giving up because you might want to give up and that door might just be ready to open for you you gave up too short so for me I've I've always seen it as you know always grinding get into what you got to do and not letting anybody knock you off your hustle you feel me mm -hmm. so yeah, you're talking about uh dreams uh fulfilling dreams what is like your big picture kind of like your end goal with art let's just kind of stick with like the art goal mm -hmm. like do you want do you want your art like on the on like staples center you know what i mean or do you do you want to do a mural for a famous person do you want to like do art do you want to like sell your artwork at auctions for millions of dollars kind of like yeah. what is like your end goal of what you want to be known as like an artist i guess I'd say, you know, for me as an artist, yeah, I, I'd say, like, I'd love those things. I'd love to be able to sell work for a million dollars. You know, if anybody's out there with a million dollars and wants some artwork, let me know. <laughs> but um, Sign a deal. Yeah, Get yeah, a, sign art, me. Artwork every month. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need a deal. I need a contract. But, um, you know, my, my ultimate goal with art is, um, you know, just leveling up, man. Just being better, having a better picture than I did before. Um. And like I said, my, my ultimate goal with art is to, uh, you know, one day set up a school and, um, you know, help teach the youth that, you know, art's a really good way of expressing yourself, you know. And that goes, art breaks into anything because, 
you know, you really think about art and you really look at art, you know, anything that we wear, even cars that we drive, even buildings that are designed, all started from sketches. Anything, anything in this world you look at right now currently, someone drew it before it became what it became. So for me, art is like my ultimate goal with art is to be a great artist, to be able to sell my work. Um, not only that, but, you know, work with other companies, like you're saying, you know, doing like the, a mural for the Target Center or doing something like that. You know, those are accomplishments. Those are goals. And I will get to that and I will get those done. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as time goes on and me as an artist, I'm learning more of like, you know, I want to be knowledgeable in the art game. Like I want to be the person that you come to and be like, yo, I got this big deal. How can I how can I do this? And I want to be able to help because ultimately, like, I want to leave a legacy, you know, when I when I leave this earth, I want to be able to look back and be like, yeah, I got like 30,000 pictures out, you know, people got my art on them, they're wearing their art, you know, they're tatted up with my art. And for me, that's accomplishment. If I can bring a smile to your face through my artwork, that means I that's that means more than money to me personally. I mean, honestly, because, you know, money comes and goes, but like art stays forever. That piece that you make stays forever. So I mean, me as an artist, like, I'd say, like, that's that's more the fulfillment of the whole thing is being able to bring a smile to somebody's face when they look at their piece and be like, yo, this was definitely worth that time. This was definitely worth that money. And so I'd say me as an artist, that's kind of how I look at it in standpoint and how I see it, because ultimately, like, it comes down to what you leave on this earth. You know what I'm saying? So my goal is to leave as many pieces um that can touch and help motivate people to be better or become better. And so that's just that's just me as an artist and um, me as a person is Deshaun. That's like kind of my ultimate goal with this art is to be able to spread that awareness and stuff mm -hmm. like that. How important is um, like spirituality in your artwork or, you know, like I don't like like uh, like psychedelics, you could say, or like, you know, like that, like shrooms and like, yeah, like how like like you, you gain inspiration from like shrooms, psychedelics <laughs> or just being spiritual in general. Yeah. Um, I definitely say like uh, I tried it. Let's see. I started tripping acid when I was 15. So I, I, I started young. I didn't know what the power of what psychedelics was. And um, honestly, like it inspired me to be able to branch out and it's helped me develop my. I'd say the way that I make my art, but also that, like, I don't, I'd say, like, if you do it, you do it. You know what I'm saying? You always learn a lesson from it. And I'd say if you go on to a trip, like what I did, at least, like, every time I went into a trip, I always looked on the other side to see what I'm learning. Like, I always went into it with a mindset of, all right, I want to learn this or I want to mm -hmm. learn that. You're trying like, to gain some knowledge and gain, gain an experience rather than just yeah get you know just be high yeah just <laughs> fucked up yeah. like it was always for me like i mean i don't really trip shrooms no more i kind of just smoke weed basically honestly but um i'd say my spirituality is uh i don't believe in religion i mean personally um and i i feel like you know religion is like a more moral code you know what i'm saying like you can go into it and be like uh you know being christians right or being muslims right you know i've read you know the hundred quran the words of Quran and you know I've, I've looked deep down into religion and I'm like okay you know I get it but I mean for me at least I believe there's a God um you know there's someone to talk to outside of you know that can't really judge you but you yeah it know, just might not be as cookie cutter as yeah, the way that it's yeah, depicted in the yeah, book you know that's how I see it but I see it as like a moral compass you know there's you know there's right things there's wrong things there's things you should or shouldn't do mm -hmm. and I think that's just basic human knowledge like yeah. you should be respectful to others you should be respectful to full to your elders you feel me um but um i'd say morally my spirituality uh trans inspired into my artwork because of you know what i was going through at the time and with uh the colors i'd say i wanted to put bright colors into my work so that it popped more and so that um when people look at it they feel like they're on psychedelics when they're really not and that's yeah. just kind of working with a third eye kind of mentality so um, when I went into that, that was kind of what I went into when I started coloring my pictures and stuff like that. Cool. And this mural expands a little bit more than what we could see right now. Should we take a dive into the yeah, closet? Yeah, let's, let's, get into the, let's get into that. Like, uh, you look into, like, this picture up here. You know, I drew this back in 2016. You know, it has fuck Trump. It has a whole bunch of crazy stuff. It says, uh, fuck the free world. You know, it has a whole bunch of stuff on there. Um, and, like, when I was drawing this and developing this picture, it was kind of just more of a 
my ultimate goal was to break open into different places and I had a dream about this guy also too. A genius. Oh uh, yeah, it's Reese in this bitch. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so you know that was one of the pictures that I decided to wanted to put in and uh, like with this one, you know, this was the time going through the rights and stuff like that. So like, you know, I have the hate they give, you know, no peace, no justice. And, uh, you know, just a lot of shit in there that I went through. So then I, I kind of put it into one picture and what I seen and uh, and what was kind of crazy about it. Because, you know, in the riots, you know, you had people there that was doing good there for the protest. You had people there that just want to start anarchy. You had people there that, you know, wasn't even supposed to be there. They weren't even there for the right reasons. And so that's some of the stuff that I seen. So I put it in incorporated it into that picture. And then uh, like with these pictures over here, um. I was going through a transition of uh, listening to Trippy Red, so like and Travis Scott, because and that's like a little mixture. Uh, Rick and Morty, you know, Don't Trip. There's like a lot of little s stuff in there, you know. Um, and so like it was just the goal of just being able to create and uh, translate my what I was feeling into a picture, and so that's kind of where this piece came out to be. Um, this one came out to be a great picture for me because of, uh, you know, what I was going through. You can't fear death if you've never lived. And that's something I live by now to this day, because, you know, if you've never lived life, then what do you got to fear death for? You feel me? So it just pushes me to live even more and be one and to inspire whatever I create. And these like little messages I look back on, I can look back on these pictures and see where I was at in a mind state and now where I'm at to current today, you feel me? So it's always a positive, positive piece, you feel me? So I always look at it in a happy light, you feel me? Um, yeah, and then we're gonna, we're gonna break down into this, this. This is where it gets kind of crazy, you feel me? So we got this little piece right here, you know, you start up here, you got fear no evil, cause you can never feel no evil, you feel me? You got the uh, Libra sign, you got the Gemini sign, shout out to Leah, because she a Gemini, you feel me? Um, and this piece is kind of like, just like a, a piece of like a, a face, I'd say, like someone that's kind of just smirking and smiling. And, you know, the ghost, you got extra ghosts through here. So it's like a kind of drip fall. So my ultimate goal with this piece was to make people look at the eye, because that's kind of what they look at. And then when they back out, they see a bigger piece as it being a f half face, you feel me? And so my ultimate illusion in this picture was to try to get somebody to look here, 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 here. And then when they step back, be like, whoa. And there's another face like right here, you feel me? And so my ultimate goal is just to try to make your eyes want to look more in depth of the picture. So, and there's a smiley face up there too. So like, like I said, back in that positivity piece, you know, seeing smiley faces, looking, looking at your work and having it smile back at you. So this was the goal of that door and kind of just putting that piece out there saying fear no evil, never fear anything, you feel me? Um, and going into here, we got this, uh, this face right here. And this piece was uh, kind of a crazy piece because I was like, you know what, I don't really know what I'm doing in here at first. But then, you know, I put my number code down on 444, which is my guardian angel, you feel me? And I put love on one side and then uh, keep up like I put keep up because it's like, you know, some people aren't going to be able to keep up with you if you're on your grind, you feel me? And doing what you're doing. So for me, it was a more positive thing, like keep up. You know, you always got something that's on, on a different level than you. So for me, it's like I got to keep going. So then I put my 1999 in there because it's like that's my birth year. You feel me? The last of the 90s baby out this bitch. You feel me? But uh, but then I put, you know, people hate on this side because people do hate and uh, people hate when they see you being great and see you doing something that you love. So people don't like seeing that. Put the higher state. So this is like translucent up into like a higher state of mind and realm thinking and understanding that, you know, everybody doesn't think the same. But when you come to a common ground, you can understand somebody's perspective. So I've learned that in my lifetime that that's probably one of my best tools. I can be mad at what you're saying or I can sit down and understand what you're saying. I don't always got to under like care for it, but I'm going to sit down and at least listen to see what you're saying. You feel me? And so that's why I, I came up into the higher state. And so I got the LSD LSD tag up there. You feel me? And this face is uh, kind of like a I wanted to work with like two different color zones and trying to make it seem simplistic, but also complicated. 
I got numb up there because uh, shout out to XXX, RIP. Um, that was one of my favorite inspirational artists. I got that shit on my neck, too. Um, you know, the, he was a big inspiration to me. And it showed me, you know, what you can really do at 20 years old and being at that time that he was in and, and what he was doing. And uh, he inspired a lot of people. So I really fucked with him. Um, I put uh, Lost Souls up there, got the water wave tag, you feel me, with the little ghost in there. You know, he's over there just kind of cooling. Um, free the mind, um, follow your dreams. You know, those are some more positive affirmations for yourself when you come in here and look at the mural so that, you know, if you're having a bad day, you'd be like, you know, shit, follow your dreams. You know, follow, free your mind, open up your mind. You know, your mind's going to feel something for a certain type of way, but you got to you gotta let that shit go. You feel me? You can't be too mad. Life's too short for that. So, and then uh, this face is kind of like eating some shrooms a little bit, I guess. Um, and so, like, it's like dream on. So you're dreaming and it comes with knowledge because knowledge is the power, the truth. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the truth of it. Knowledge is the power. If you have more knowledge, then you're going you're gonna to be a lot better in life. You feel me? That's why people go to college and shit. But then, uh, yeah, this is another face um, and it just has, you know, open your open your mind again you know as you look at it you want to free yourself and just kind of take in what you're seeing so that was my goal and then putting another awesome eye up here looking down on you so that it smiles and so yeah like that's pretty much my goal is to you know let people open up their minds and be free about you know who they are and not to be scared about who they are because at the end of the day you are one of one and everybody's one of one so I'd say just take that power and invest into what you want to do and accomplish what you want to do. Don't let nobody hold you back from it because at the end of the day, you're going to grow and everybody's going to grow. Some people might grow on different paths. Some people might grow the same path, but it's all coming to what you want to do with your life and how you want to dedicate yourself. So for me, at least, I know that this is what I'm going to dedicate myself to and I'm going to grow from it. So that's pretty much the mural. <laughs> I guess. Shout out to Waterwave TV, man, for real. Y'all go follow, subscribe to their YouTube channel. You know, they've been helping all a lot of artists. Uh, and follow me on Instagram at Almighty Day Day. And you can follow my page at LSDMN underscore creations. So I'm out this bitch, fuck. <laughs> We be rolling up the green cabbage The way I'm married to the game, you think it's satanic My shit hitting, causing brain damage Never leaning, I got great balance The only challenge that's ahead of me is build a palace How I manage, call a water wave, they got the answers Only way is it the money, not a problem See the problems